Before starting this tutorial, I just wanted to draw your attention to the Correlation and Regression online course by DataCamp. DataCamp offers interactive R courses that you can do directly within your web browser, and you can start the course for free. So, if you're interested in performing correlations in R, then I recommend checking out the course in DataCamp. You can find a link in the description below. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a Spearman's rank correlation test in R. If you're interested in performing a Pearson correlation test in R, then check out the other tutorial that I've made previously. So a Spearman's rank correlation test is a non-parametric statistical test to determine the monotonic association between two variables. And for this tutorial, I will use the MT cars dataset that is already available within R. The MT cars dataset contains measurements from 32 cars between the years 1973 and 74. To load the MT cars dataset, simply run the following code: data open bracket MT cars and then press the return key. And you'll now see that the MT cars dataset is available within the environment. So I'm going to take a little peek at the dataset by using the head function by typing in head, open bracket, and then empty cars. So the data frame contains 11 variables, but the two I'm interested in are the MPG, or the miles per gallon, and the horsepower, or HP. So what I'm going to do is perform a Spearman correlation test by using these two variables. Now to perform a Spearman correlation test, you can use the core.test function within R. And simply the code to do this is core.test, open bracket, and then you need to write in the two variables that you want to include within the correlation. And I'm interested in the MPG and the HP variables from the MT cars data set. So I'm firstly going to type in MT cars, dollar sign to select my variable, and then MPG for my first variable, enter a comma, and then I need to enter the second variable. So again, this is MT cars, dollar sign, HP, which is horsepower. And the next thing you want to do is add another comma, and you need to type in the argument method equals, and then speech marks, and within the speech marks, you need to type in Spearman. And this is to be able to perform the Spearman correlation test. And to run the Spearman correlation test, I can press the enter key. So this is the output for the test itself. As you'll see in the first line, it's stating the two variables that were involved in the Spearman correlation test. There's the test statistic and the p-value of the test. And then under this, you'll see the alternative hypothesis, which in this case is true Spearman rank correlation is not equal to zero. And this is because this analysis is two-sided. If you want to perform a one-sided analysis, I'll show you how to do that shortly. And then lastly, there's the sample estimates. So this number here is the Spearman rank correlation coefficient value. And note underneath, there's a warning message here. And this warning message is stating that the test cannot compute exact p-values with ties. So a tie is when there is a variable containing more than one data point with the same value. And if you want to remove this warning message, you can simply add in the exact argument. So if I rerun the test, but add in the argument exact equals false and then press the enter key you'll notice now that the warning message has been removed so let's interpret these results you'll firstly see that the Spearman rank correlation value is negative 0.89 now the Spearman correlation coefficient value is a value that ranges from negative 1 to plus 1 a negative one is a perfectly negative association between the two variables. A value of zero indicates no association between the two variables, and a value of positive one is a perfectly positive association between the two variables. So a value of negative 0.89 is a very strong negative correlation, in this case, between the variables MPG and horsepower. So in other words, as the MPG increases, the horsepower decreases. And we can also see here that the p-value is 5.086 times 10 to the negative 12. 
So if I set my alpha level to 0.05, since this p-value is considerably lower than my alpha level, I will reject my null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. So in other words, in this example, there is a significant negative correlation between the MPG and horsepower variables of the cars. Now, if you wanted to run a Spearman correlation test that is one-sided as opposed to two-sided in this case, you need to add in the argument alternative. So if I rerun the test, but in this case, I'm going to add in the argument alternative equals speech marks and then the options here can either be two dot sided, which is the default value for the test, and this would run a two sided analysis, or you can change this to be greater if you want to run a alternative hypothesis that is stating the correlation will be positive, i.e. a correlation coefficient value that is greater than zero, or you can change this to be less and this would run a test where the alternative hypothesis is stating that the correlation is going to be a negative correlation, i.e. less than zero. So that is how you can perform a Spearman's correlation test by using R. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.